So when there's a spinal cord injury, there's a break in the blood-brain barrier. There's a lot of bleeding and inflammation. And that triggers the glial cells around the injury. They're called astrocytes to produce these molecules to form a scar. So the, these are part of the scar formation. They're a barrier kind of a molecule. But unfortunately, that barrier that's made by the scar to protect the wound entraps the nerve fiber so they can't regenerate. There are actually two big findings. The first is that proteoglycans, by acting through a receptor that the nerve cells make, entrap the nerves like flypaper so they can't grow. The second thing that we found is the use of a peptide that can block the receptor, free the nerve cells so they can now regenerate and restore function after spinal cord injury. So what the drug does is target the receptor that the nerve cells use. It's kind of like Velcro. Think of the proteoglycans as the cloth and the hook as the receptor that the nerve cells have. So cloth itself is kind of slippery and inhibitory, but when the nerve cells make their receptor, they bind to it and they stick so tightly they can't move. And our peptide just basically breaks off the hook. So now the nerve fibers can't see the cloth or see the proteoglycans, and they just keep on going. Well, my interest was really, what is the mechanism of fit regeneration failure in the spinal cord? We actually designed several drugs in this process and tested them all in in vitro assays without actually talking to Jerry about it. And one of them, which is published in this paper, worked very, very well in turning the receptor off. We designed the drug to have a shuttle. So this would shuttle it into cells. And after 10 weeks, we saw remarkable functional recovery following peptide treatment. The spinal cord is injured. Uh, it's in bad shape. You don't really want to get in there and touch it or inject it, put needles in it or open the dura matter to enter it. It would be much better if you could treat that spinal cord that's already injured or scarred over by not touching it at all. And what, a very important barrier that we've broken is to be able to treat those nerve cells without touching them.